on learning new words vocabulary so i'm sharing my screen and then we'll start reading from the book okay so here the chapter which we are left with is this one minor vono so here as you can see the chapter is all about your house what all appliances what all furniture is there in the house we will be learning about that so let's start reading these words and understand what these are exactly just read them one by one that's bad their floor that's bad their floor dust are bites zimmer dust lap zimmer dust finger zimmer hmm okay uh i moment dust bad they doited bathroom now uh so there are two things basically for room dust sima or there round das sima their round both means room but usually german people use sima as a word for room so bathroom can either be no or bad or bad at sima and as i told you the rule of joining two words so whatever room it will be if you are adding sima with that that will have das article only for example here Das Arbeit Zimmer, the working room. Das Schlafzimmer, bedroom. Das Kinderzimmer, children's room. So wherever there is any room where you are adding Zimmer at the end, the article will eventually become Das because Zimmer has Das article. So here also either you can say Das Badat Zimmer or No Das Bad. So that means bathroom. Their floor is like floor or the area of the corridor. Arbeit Zimmer, working room. Schlafzimmer, bedroom. Das Kinderzimmer, children's room. Now here, all these things. Read them. Rachel, I think you are on mute. Their drucker, das Bett. Their head, their computer, the lamp, the box machine, their stool, das das machine, their stool, das sofa, their clothes rack. Hmm. So Joker, as we can see, is like printer, das bed, bed, their head is this like a big. Uh, Like usually European people have this big uh, microwave kind of a thing under their counter. So that is head, their computer, the lamp, the wash machine. And now you, if you could recall the uh, gender rule which we learned, most of the words which are ending with e have the article. So the lamp, similarly the wash machine, then their stool, the sofa, sofa, their cool shrunk here. There are two words which has been combined together. Shrunk means basically almira, and kul shrunk. So kul that means like something which is cold, and then shrunk. So kul plus shrunk, their kul shrunk that means refrigerator. So only shrunk, which means almira, that also has their article. Okay, then the white here. The cushion, cushion. Um loud. The cushion, the bone zimmer, the the sofa, the striped dish, the telephone, the furniture, the tapis, the zone, zone film. Hmm. The field. The regal, the dish, dish fuel machine. Hmm. Right. So machine is basically has the article. Machine is machine. 
so anything be it like here washing machine the wash machine article will be the because machine has the article or the spill machine dish washer so here also we have at used machine so that also has the article because machine is the undanda regard okay now uh, one more thing like dish is there dish so here also there shrive dish so be it like normal table or writing table when there is dish article will be there there pans here here also if you see the same rule will apply anything which is ending with er will have there article anything which is ending with e mostly it will have the as an article then there vessel is like a couch you can say couch or this small sofa kind of thing then this regal is basically the shelves there tapis carpet then cushion this kitchen bone simmer is living room balcony is balcony 564 now what i'm going to do i'm going to play one audio you listen to the audio and then we'll do this exercise now what this exercise is all about lead link order that means your favorite place each person has a favorite place in their home some people uh, like to sit in the balcony some people like to sit uh, like somewhere in the corner because that is somewhere this is and then becomes their favorite place so here we have four people who are talking about their favorite place in the house now we have to listen to the conversation and figure out what is their favorite places and what usually they do there kishtandan kishtandan okay i'm just sharing my audio also just a second hi rajveer zusammen so auf dem internet bin ich da eigentlich ja ich bin journalistin habe 2a 1 tja ich bin journalistin wenn ich zu hause bin bin ich da eigentlich die meiste zeit im ich arbeite da am computer schreibe e-mails surfe im internet schreibe die texte für die zeitung 2 Also die ganze Familie sitzt da jeden Abend zusammen. Wir kochen, essen etwas Gutes, sitzen alle an einem großen Tisch und erzählen. Die ist eigentlich das Zentrum unserer Wohnung. 3 Nach einem langen Tag an der Uni entspanne ich total gern in meinem Ich habe ein sehr bequemes Sofa, da kann man gut lesen oder fernsehen. Ich sehe besonders gern gute Filme und Reportagen. 4. Im Sommer bin ich besonders oft und gerne auf dem Also natürlich nur, wenn das Wetter schön ist. Man kann in der Sonne sitzen, lesen, Kaffee trinken und am Wochenende grillen wir oft. Okay. Now I will be playing the audio. one more time pay more attention try to understand because these people are like saying what they exactly do in their favorite room so with their activities you have to figure out which room they are talking about and what exactly do they do there so if you want you can uh, like make a quick note during the conversation happening <coughs> i'm playing it one more time Aufgabe 2a 1 Tja, ich bin Journalistin. Wenn ich zu Hause bin, bin ich da eigentlich die meiste Zeit im Ich arbeite da am Computer, schreibe E-Mails, surfe im Internet, schreibe die Texte für die Zeitung. 2 Also die ganze Familie sitzt da jeden Abend zusammen. Wir kochen, essen etwas Gutes, sitzen alle an einem großen Tisch und erzählen. Die ist eigentlich das Zentrum unserer Wohnung. 
3. Nach einem langen Tag an der Uni entspanne ich total gern in meinem Ich habe ein sehr bequemes Sofa, da kann man gut lesen oder fernsehen. Ich sehe besonders gern gute Filme und Reportagen. 4. Im Sommer bin ich besonders oft und gerne auf dem Also natürlich nur, wenn das Wetter schön ist. Man kann in der Sonne sitzen, lesen, Kaffee trinken und am Wochenende grillen wir oft. Verstanden. Verstanden, oder? Okay, now, when you say the answer, try to uh, give the uh, try to make like complete sentence. Here, maybe you can say, Eva's Lieblingsort ist das Arbeitszimmer. So instead of just saying Arbeitszimmer, like if I ask what is her favorite room, or we ist uh, Eva's Lieblingsort, so instead of just giving one word answer, maybe you can tell the whole sentence. Und was macht sie da? Let me write it here for you. You can uh, simultaneously note down the question. Was ist? Then blank is like the person's name, Eva or maybe Jan or Maika or Leo. Was ist? Lieblings Ort. Und was macht er oder sie da? And what does he or she do there? Like just for example, for first answer, first question, I'm giving you the answer. So. Uh, Eva's what is here Arbeit's Zimmer. Eva's favorite place is her working room. The Arbeit at Z und schreibt E-Mails. So something like this. Da arbeitet sie und schreibt E-Mails. There she works and write E-Mails. Now, uh, Rajbir, you tell me, was ist Jans Lieblingsort? Was ist Jans Lieblingsort und was macht er da? Rajbir, I'm not able to hear you. Hello? Rajbir, you are not audible. Okay, I am to join. Uh, Rachel, Just can you answer then? What is the answer? Labeling art and what mark there? The. The uh, John Peterson Lieblings or Year is the Kyusha, the Kyusha or the Zaina Kyusha. Is the Kyusha das arbeitet the Uh, das arbeitet, arbeitet hier. Da, da, da means there, not das. Ah, da, da arbeitet hier. How can somebody works in kitchen? Ah, no. Ganz lieblings or is seine Kusche. Und was macht das, er da? Das Kok Koke. Kocht er. Kok. Kok er. Hm? Und mm, esse es ist. Hm? 
Minuten. Da braucht er und ist er. Okay, you can note it down. Uh, okay, now third question is for you, Rajvi. Was ist Maikas Lieblingsort und was macht sie da? Nummer drei, Maika. Yeah, that is what I got uh, in uh, und Tanzen. No, no, no. Was ist Micah's Lieblingsort? Answer that first. Was ist Micah's Lieblingsort? What does it mean? What is her favorite room? I have no idea about this. I just got the legend on Tanzen. Okay, maybe fourth. Did you understood what fourth was all about? Could you give in uh, Ropnande, something like this? Okay, Rachel, did you understood number three and four? Number three. Um, Maika, the place or it is. Was. Hmm. It's von Zimmer. Sehr schön, von Zimmer. Because she mentioned that she reads there yeah and then she watch tv right so my car's liebling art is here von simmer the least z und sieht z fans i'm repeating it you can note it down i'm not noting this down i'm just saying it and you have to note it down my car's Lieblings ort is ihr Wohnzimmer. Da liest sie lesen, conjugated as per sie. Da liest sie und sieht sie fan. Fan sehen. That means to watch television. Trend baras verb. Also sieht sie fan. She watches television. Nummer vier. That was about balcony. balcony. So Leo's Liebling's art is their balcon. Oder seinen balcon. Because balcon is their balcon. So I'm just saying it. Le uh, uh, write this sentence also. Leo's Liebling's art is seinen balcon. Da sitzt air in their zona there he sits in the sun the sitzt setzen conjugated as per air also the sitzt air in their zona now what you have written for three and four please send me the screenshot I didn't get uh, what you were saying, ma'am. Okay, I'm saying it again. It, right. It was good. A single sentence. Is it not audible? Uh, I'm to join again. Just. Okay. Rachel, did you understood what I was saying? My cards, the blinks, or it. Is one zimmer. The list Z on Z Z fun. Right. That's Z. What is that on Z? Z as in Z. Fun Z hun. So Z hun. Just it as per Z. Okay. Then this one. 
Leo's siblings or is Zaine Balcon. Zaine. Zaine. Their balcon. Their balcon. The states are in their zone. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Okay, Rajbir, I'm repeating the sentence again. Am I audible now? Rajbir, up mute pe ho. Am I audible now? Okay. okay. Right now, it's okay. Okay, so I'm repeating the sentence. Try to write it. My cars, Lieblings ought is ear won simmer. The least z und zit z fern. Then Leo's Lieblings ought is seinen balcon. The sitzt er in der zona. Verstanden? No. I somehow not Okay. Jo bhi aapne likha hai, mujhe bhej na. Okay, I will try again. Then. Okay. I'm just proceeding further with the next page. Here we have one more exercise to do. Here, what is exactly? Up? Let's read this sentence for the this email first, basically. And then we'll proceed further with the listening exercise. Rachel, can you read this email? Hello, dear Mustan English Zusamen Zihen on Brauken eine Wohnung. Wir versuchen eine Dreisimmer Wohnung. You share bad Schlafzimmer, Wohnzimmer und ein. Arbeitszimmer ungefähr Axis 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 Quadratmeter Pure Maximal Sieben hundert Euro und im Zentrum Gerne mit Balkon oder Terrace. Und sie muss ruhig sein und hell. Wenn ihr etwas hört, ruf uns bitte an. 0176-8-9-4-4-1-8-9. Danke und viele Grüße. Von Carla und Alex. Hmm. Okay, now there are two people, Carla and Alex, who are looking for a room and they are sending this notification to their friends. Hello, we are Mjostin, Endlich, Susamen, Sien. Endlich is finally. So we would like to move together. Susamen, Sien is like move in together. So we are finally moving in together. Und brauchen eine Wohnung and need a house. We are suchen eine drei Zimmer Wohnung. We are searching for a three room house. Kyusha Bad Schlafzimmer, Wohnzimmer und eine Arbeitszimmer. Kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, living room and one workroom. Ungefähr 80 Quadratmeter. Ungefähr is like a roundabout. Around 80 Quadratmeter. It's like a square meter. Pure maximal 700 euro and maximum of 700 euros. Und im Zentrum, in the central. Gana mit Balkon oder Terrasse. Gana here is like preferably with the balcony or terrace. Und sie muss, sie here has been used for the Wohnung. So like I told you know, for there at times, if we have to use it for something which has their article, we use S. If we have to use it for something which has thus article, we use S. Similarly, B Wonung for this, we want to use it. So we have used Z here because B Wonung is D Wonung. So Z. Und Z muss ruhig und ruhig sein und hell. And it 
should be it has to be peaceful ruhig without it peaceful und hell hell is like bright now we have two more new words here noted down side by side ruhig that means peaceful and loud opposite word that means loud then hell thus without it bright or something which has too much light then dunkel thus without it dark Geshevan. Yes, ma'am. Game out. Okay. Can be right. Hmm. When you at was heard, when you listen something or when you get to know something, roofed on speaker on. Please call us on this number. Danke und viele Grüße von Carla und Alex. Thanks and lots of good greetings from Carla and Alex. So now you know the situation. There are two people who are looking for a room. Now, uh, Carla and Alex here. No matter uh, say, of course, say Carla and Alex listen. Vonu and Saigen. And Saigen is like advertisement. Vonu and Saigen is like the advertisement for houses which are available for for renting out. The two leg section, basically, of the newspaper, you can say. Hearing the das Gespräch, listening to the conversation, you were well sure, Vonu, expression the about which house they are talking about. Now, Carla and Alex are looking for uh, some uh, for a house. They are seeing some advertisement and they are talking about one of the house from these given informations. Now, you have to figure out which. House they are talking about is that the Vistiga Vonum Furzi, and if the room they are talking about is it a right room for them? You have read their information here, and now you have to guess which room they are talking about. I am playing the audio now. My moment. Aufgabe 3c. Schau mal hier, das klingt gut. Elegante Wohnung im Zentrum mit Balkon, sechster Stock mit Aufzug. Das ist doch super, oder? Ja, aber liest mal weiter. 950 Euro Miete. Oh, stimmt, die ist zu teuer. Hm. Und hier? Aufgabe 3c. Schau mal hier, das klingt gut. Elegante Wohnung im Zentrum mit Balkon, sechster Stock mit Aufzug. Das ist doch super, oder? Ja, aber liest mal weiter. 950 Euro Miete. Oh, stimmt, die ist zu teuer. Hm. Und die hier? Hm. So verstanden? Which room? Uh, uh, so which ad from these given ads they were they are talking about? You be well sure, Vonu. Expression Z. Give me the uh, like whole answer in whole sentence, not just one one answer. Answer is correct, but tell me the whole sentence. Here is the question. You be well sure, Vonu. Expression Z. Try to put your answer in a sentence. Like they are talking about advertisement number three. How would you say it in German? You surely want to try, Rajbir. You also try and tell me. Z Varan. Z Varan. Why Varan? They were. Uh, Just keep use only expression. Don't get. Don't uh, add too much complexity in, in in terms of grammar as of now. Keep it simple. Like they are talking about so the expression. Expression. Uh, Vonu number. Hmm. Number. 
Rajvi Ramana table 2 hear you again so the answer is respiration you were ansaiga number dry now Rajesh you will tell me is das the rishiga vonin pure ji ya or the nine yeah mm it, that that is rishiga vonum Rajbir, what do you think? Is Das the Rishtiga Vonum Fjurzi? Numar Dry. Yeah, they were talking about Numar Dry. Aber, is Das the Rishtiga Vonum Fjurzi? Is this a correct uh, correct uh, house for them? You have read their requirements here, na? Right. Yes, so, Das is Rishtiga Vonum Fjurzi? Both, both of you are saying that? Nine. Nine. Das is nicht die richtige Wohnung für Sie. Because here the house is very expensive. They are looking for something which comes under 700 euros and here that is for 950 euros. So the Wohnung ist sehr teuer. The Wohnung ist sehr teuer or the Wohnung ist zu teuer. The house is very expensive. Hmm. Now here. A bonum used for apartment. Yeah, apartment or house, anything. Hmm. Okay, this is an interesting listening conversation. Now these people, these two people, Carla and Alex. They have finally found a house and then they are moving in. Now they are deciding which thing to put where, like computer, um, maybe sofa or other things. Now they are discussing and deciding which thing they want to put where. Now you have to like maybe you, you can quickly take a minute and make this table in your copy. And once you listen to the conversation, you can start filling in these blanks like uh, in Schlaf Simmer, what does Carla want to put or what does Alex want to put in Wohn Simmer, what does Carla want to put and what does Alex want to put. So th they are having this conversation. You can quickly make this table and once I play the audio, you can start filling it in. Let me know once then, then I'll play the audio. Yes, Ribbon. Okay. We shall get Ribbon. Hey, Ma. Yes, Ribbon. Aufgabe 4a. So, wie machen wir das jetzt? Hm, ich denke, den Computer, den stellen wir in die Küche. Da ist es schön hell, da kann ich gut arbeiten. In die Küche? Mensch, Carla, du wolltest doch unbedingt ein Arbeitszimmer in der neuen Wohnung. Und wir haben extra eine Wohnung mit Arbeitszimmer gesucht. Der Computer kommt natürlich ins Arbeitszimmer. Findest du? Na gut. Aber den Fernseher stellen wir ins Schlafzimmer. Da kann ich im Bett fernsehen. Das ist doch sehr gemütlich. Was? Also wirklich nicht. Der Fernseher muss natürlich ins Wohnzimmer. Wir haben doch extra ein neues Sofa gekauft. 
da kann man super fernsehen. Aber diesen Schrank hier stellen wir in den Flur. Da ist viel Platz. Den Schrank? Auf keinen Fall. Den Schrank stellen wir ins Arbeitszimmer. Der ist viel zu groß für den Flur. Aber den Kühlschrank können wir in den Flur stellen. Dann haben Sie in der Küche mehr Platz. Den Kühlschrank in den Flur? Warum das denn? Den Kühlschrank stellen wir natürlich in die Küche. Kühlschränke stehen immer in der Küche. Mensch, Alex, du bist immer so konventionell. Also, Carla, wirklich. Okay, I'm playing it one more time. Aufgabe. So, wie machen wir das jetzt? Hm, ich denke, den Computer, den stellen wir in die Küche. Da ist es schön hell, da kann ich gut arbeiten. In die Küche? Mensch, Carla, du wolltest doch unbedingt ein Arbeitszimmer in der neuen Wohnung. Und wir haben extra eine Wohnung mit Arbeitszimmer gesucht. Der Computer kommt natürlich ins Arbeitszimmer. Findest du? Na gut. Aber den Fernseher stellen wir ins Schlafzimmer. Da kann ich im Bett fernsehen. Das ist doch sehr gemütlich. Was? Also wirklich nicht. Der Fernseher muss natürlich ins Wohnzimmer. Wir haben doch extra ein neues Sofa gekauft. Da kann man super fernsehen. Aber diesen Schrank hier stellen wir in den Flur. Da ist viel Platz. Den Schrank? Auf keinen Fall. Den Schrank stellen wir ins Arbeitszimmer. Der ist viel zu groß für den Flur. Aber den Kühlschrank können wir in den Flur stellen. Dann haben Sie in der Küche mehr Platz. Den Kühlschrank in den Flur? Warum das denn? Den Kühlschrank stellen wir natürlich in die Küche. Kühlschränke stehen immer in der Küche. Mensch, Alex, du bist immer so konventionell. Also, Carla, wirklich. Hm, verstanden. Okay, let's discuss then in Schlafzimmer. So, what was Carla saying? What should we, or Alex saying, what should we keep in Schlafzimmer? Ration? We understand that uh, Carla wants Bernsehen in Schlafzimmer. Hmm. So, Fanzir, there, Fanzir. So, here you can write there, Fanzir. And here you can put cross for Alex. Yeah. In Wohnzimmer. In Wohnzimmer, what does uh, Alex want to put? Noch einmal Fernseher. So here Carla was saying that we'll keep the TV in the bedroom, but Alex was saying we'll keep it in Wohnzimmer. Okay, now in the Kyusha. In the Kyusha, Carla. Hmm. Wants their computer but, in the Kyusha. Hmm, but Alex wanted. Uh -huh. Wanted in Arbeitszimmer. Hmm. He wanted in Arbeitszimmer, but what does Alex wanted to place in the Kyusha? There, Kühlschrank. He wanted to put fridge there in Arbeitszimmer. Then, noch einmal, computer. We've answered already. Then, what does Carla wanted to put in Arbeitszimmer? Yes, wrong. No, she wanted to put that in the floor. She wanted floor. to put the uh, fridge in the corridor, but Alex wanted to put in in the kitchen. So, in Arbeitszimmer, what does she wanted to put? Alex wanted computer to be there, but what wants what what does Carla wanted? What is that? Their shrunk. Their shrunk, right? Their shrunk. shrunk. Hmm. 
that he uh, Alex wanted to put in in the corridor. Okay. Now here uh, we will be wrapping up the class little uh, early today, like few minutes. In next few minutes, but here when you go through this chapter, you can don't miss to learn this section basically from page number nineteen. Here, let this these dialogues basically will help you for verbal communication also and specifically in writing email also. So be on watch and see the Ainla Adum. So let's say if somebody is writing you an email and inviting you, so here are the dialogues which you can refer to to answer. The Kionan common you can come. So whatever uh, you the dialogues you can use you can choose from here. And if you cannot go, then you can choose the dialogues from here. So, for example, ish comma zay again, I'll definitely come. Or you can say ish prayamish out the fire. I'm very happy for the celebration. Ish prayamish shown out zamstag common again. I would be really happy to come on Saturday. Oda khanish at was bring then should I bring something? Or khan maina froindin. Would of mine friend meet common? Can my all my can my friend also come along? So these are like some of the lines you can use to answer uh, in terms of affirmation of your response. Now, when you have to decline, when you cannot attend, you can use these dialogues. Chum bai spiel is to me a lie. Aba iskan is common. I'm sorry, but I cannot come. Or iskan lie the next common. I unfortunately cannot come. I have a lighter kind of sight, or I don't have like time. <coughs> then you can give the reason. I have to work on Saturday. Or 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 I have to work on Saturday. So, like these are very good examples, dialogues which you can learn. Okay, now let us go. Hmm. Oh, scriven. Sorry. That is good for scriven. Right. Okay, now here there is nothing much left in terms of learning vocabulary from this chapter, basically. So I'm wrapping it up here now, and then we'll see each other tomorrow, and then we learn something new from the new chapter. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Yeah.